The letter trembled in my hands, its crisp edges cutting into my fingers like the words sliced through my heart. I read it again, hoping I'd misunderstood, but there was no mistaking the meaning behind Richard's neat, precise handwriting. Aaron, my boy, it's time you put that wife of yours in her place. A woman like Lily needs a firm hand. Don't let her career ambitions overshadow your role as the man of the house. I folded the paper carefully, my mind reeling. How long had Aaron been receiving these poisonous instructions from his father? And more importantly, had he been following them? The front door slammed, startling me from my thoughts. Lily, I'm home, Aaron's voice echoed through our spacious living room. I shoved the letter into my pocket and plastered on a smile. In here, honey, I called. Aaron strode in, loosening his tie. He bent to kiss me, but I turned my cheek at the last second. If he noticed, he didn't show it. How was your day? I asked, my voice steadier than I felt. Oh, you know, the usual office politics. He flopped onto the couch beside me. What's for dinner? I bristled at his assumption. I thought we could order in tonight. I had a late meeting. Aaron's brow furrowed. Again, Lily? We talked about this. Your job can't always come first. My job pays half the bills. I reminded him, my temper flaring. And my job pays the other half, he shot back. Plus, I'm the one who has to entertain clients on weekends. You know how important that is. I bit my tongue, Richard's letter burning a hole in my pocket. How much of this was Aaron, and how much was his father's influence? Actually, I said slowly, there's something we need to discuss. Aaron's phone buzzed. He glanced at it and stood up. Can it wait? Dad's calling, and you know how he gets if I don't answer. As he walked away, chatting animatedly with Richard, I made a decision. This conversation couldn't wait any longer. It was time to confront the truth, no matter how ugly it might be. I paced the kitchen, rehearsing what I'd say to Aaron. The letter felt like a lead weight in my pocket, but I couldn't confront him about it, not yet. I needed to test the waters first. Aaron sauntered in, still on the phone with his father. Yes, Dad, I've got it under control. Don't worry. My jaw clenched. Under control. Me, he hung up and turned to me with a smile that didn't reach his eyes. So what did you want to talk about? I took a deep breath. Aaron, I think we need to discuss the division of labor in our home. His smile faltered. What do you mean? I mean I work just as many hours as you do, but I'm still expected to do all the cooking, cleaning, and laundry. It's not fair. Aaron's face darkened. Not fair, Lily. I provide for this family. I entertain clients. I network. That's my contribution. And what about my contribution? I shot back. My job isn't just some hobby, Aaron. It's a career. A career that takes you away from your responsibilities at home, he snapped. I felt like I'd been slapped. My responsibilities? What about yours? I fulfill my responsibilities by bringing home a paycheck. So do I. I was shouting now, all my carefully rehearsed words forgotten. I contribute just as much financially, if not more. Aaron's eyes narrowed. What are you saying? That you think you're the breadwinner now. I'm saying we're supposed to be partners, but you treat me like I'm your maid. Well, maybe if you acted more like a wife and less like a, like a what? I challenged. Stepping closer, I said, go on, say it. The silence stretched between us, thick with unspoken accusations. Finally, Aaron spoke, his voice low and dangerous. I think you've forgotten your place, Lily. In that moment, I knew the letter wasn't just his father's words. It was Aaron's belief, too. My place, I whispered, my heart pounding. Oh, I know exactly where my place is, Aaron, and it's not here under your thumb. 
I turned and walked out of the kitchen, leaving him sputtering behind me. This conversation was far from over, but now I knew exactly what I was up against, and I was ready for war. I stormed into our bedroom, yanking the letter from my pocket. Aaron followed, his face flushed with anger. What's that? he demanded. Oh, this? I waved the paper. Just a little note from your father. Care to explain? Aaron's eyes widened, then narrowed. You went through my things. Don't you dare turn this on me. I thrust the letter at him. Explain this, Aaron. Now. He snatched it, skimming the contents, his jaw clenched. It's just dad being dad. You know how he is. Do I? I laughed bitterly. Because it seems like he's been puppeteering our entire marriage. That's ridiculous, Aaron scoffed. I make my own decisions. Really? Because your words earlier sounded awfully familiar to what's in that letter. Aaron crumpled the paper. You're overreacting, Lily. This doesn't change anything. It changes everything. I shouted. Have you been following his advice all along, trying to put me in my place? Maybe if you acted like a proper wife, I wouldn't need advice. The room fell silent. I stared at Aaron, this stranger I'd married, feeling my world crumble. Get out, I whispered. What? Get out. My voice grew stronger. Pack a bag and leave. Now. Aaron's face contorted with rage. You can't kick me out of my own house. Watch me. I grabbed his suitcase, throwing it on the bed. Either you leave, or I call the police and tell them about the time you shoved me last month. Your choice. His face paled. We both knew it had been an accident, but the threat hung heavy in the air. Without a word, Aaron started packing. I watched my heart pounding as he zipped up the suitcase and headed for the door. He paused in the doorway. This isn't over, Lily. Oh, I think it is, I replied, slamming the door behind him. As his car roared out of the driveway, I sank to the floor, tears streaming down my face. But beneath the pain, I felt something else stirring, freedom. For the first time in years, I could breathe. I stood up, wiping my eyes. This was just the beginning. Aaron thought he could control me. He had no idea what was coming. I stood on my mother's porch, my hand hovering over the doorbell. It had been months since I'd last visited Susan in years, since we'd had a real heart-to-heart. But with my world crumbling around me, I needed her wisdom now more than ever. The door swung open before I could ring. Lily, my mother said, her eyes widening. What's wrong, sweetheart? I crumpled into her arms, tears I thought I'd exhausted flowing anew. She guided me inside, settling us on her floral couch. It's Aaron, I choked out. He's been controlling, manipulative. His father's been feeding him these awful ideas about how to handle me. Mom's face hardened. Oh, Lily. I was afraid something like this might happen. I pulled back, stunned. What do you mean? She sighed, suddenly looking every bit her 65 years. Your father, he was the same way always trying to keep me in my place. I thought I'd protected you from that, but, but what? I pressed. But I see now I just taught you to endure it silently, like I did. Her eyes filled with tears. I'm so sorry, Lily. The revelation hit me like a thunderbolt. All those years of watching mom defer to dad, of seeing her shrink herself to fit his expectations. I'd internalized it all. Is that why you never left him? I whispered. Mom nodded. I thought I was being strong, keeping our family together, but I was just teaching you to accept less than you deserve. I stood up, pacing the room. I won't make the same mistake. I kicked Aaron out. Mom, I'm done letting him control me. Good, she said fiercely. But be careful, Lily. Men like that, They don't give up easily. 
As if on cue, my phone buzzed with a text from Aaron. I'm sorry. Let's talk. I'll change. I promise. I showed mom the message, my hand shaking. She gripped my arm. What are you going to do? I stared at the phone, years of conditioning warring with my newfound resolve. This was it, the moment I decided what kind of woman I wanted to be. I'm going to fight, I said, deleting the message. Not just for myself, but for every woman who's been told to shrink herself, including you, Mom. She smiled, tears in her eyes. That's my girl. I paced my living room, phone pressed to my ear. Jess, I don't know what to do. Aaron's been calling nonstop since I kicked him out. Good riddance, Jess snorted. After what you told me about that letter from his dad, he deserves worse. I sighed, collapsing onto the couch. It's not that simple. We built a life together. I can't just throw it all away. Can't you? Jess challenged. Lily, you're brilliant, successful, and strong. You don't need him. Her words sparked something in me. You're right. I don't need him. But I do need. What? Jess prodded. Justice, I whispered, the idea taking shape. I need to show Aaron and his father that I'm not some puppet they can control. Jess's excitement crackled through the phone. Now we're talking. What's the plan? I stood up, energy coursing through me. First, I'm changing the locks. Then I'm calling our bank and freezing our joint accounts. Yes, Jess cheered. Hit him where it hurts. But that's just the beginning. I continued, my mind racing. I'm going to prove I'm not just Aaron's wife. I'm going to outshine him, professionally, socially, in every way possible. Lily, Jess said, her voice serious now. Are you sure about this? Revenge can be a dangerous game. I paused, considering her words. Was I sure? The old Lily would have backed down, made excuses for Aaron's behavior. But I wasn't that woman anymore. I'm sure, I said firmly. Aaron and his father think they can keep me small. I'll show them just how big I can be. Just then, a loud knock echoed through the house. Aaron's voice boomed from outside. Lily, open up. We need to talk. My heart raced, but not from fear. This was it, the moment I'd start taking back control. Jessup got to go, I said, my voice steady. Aaron's here. Do you want me to call the police? She asked, worried. I smiled, a plan solidifying in my mind. No need. I know exactly how to handle this. I hung up and strode to the door, ready to face Aaron and begin my transformation. The game was on, and I intended to win. I opened the door, stealing myself. Aaron stood there, his face a mix of anger and desperation. Lily, please, he started, but I cut him off. No, Aaron, you listen to me now. I stepped aside, letting him in, but maintaining my distance. Things are going to change if you want to come back home. His eyes narrowed. What do you mean? I took a deep breath. First, I'm taking control of our finances. All of them. What? He sputtered. You can't do that. I can, and I will, I said firmly. I contribute just as much as you do, if not more. It's time I had an equal say in how our money is managed. Aaron's face reddened. This is ridiculous. My father was right about you. Your father, I spat, has no place in our marriage. Which brings me to my second condition. No more interference from Richard. Period. You can't dictate who I talk to. I'm not, but I won't be part of a marriage where your father has more say than I do. Aaron paced the room, running his hands through his hair. Is that all? He asked sarcastically. No, I said, my voice steady. You're going to start pulling your weight around the house. Cooking, cleaning, laundry, we split it 50-50s from now on. 
He laughed bitterly. So this is your grand plan? Emasculate me completely. This isn't about emasculating you, Aaron. It's about equality. And if I refuse. I met his gaze unflinchingly. Then I'll file for divorce first thing Monday morning. The silence that followed was deafening. Aaron stared at me, shock and fury warring on his face. For a moment, I thought he might lash out. Unexpectedly, Aaron's shoulders sagged. Fine, he muttered. I'll do it. But this isn't over, Lily. As he stormed out, slamming the door behind him, I felt a mix of triumph and trepidation. I'd won this battle, but the war was far from over. I couldn't shake the feeling that Aaron's compliance was just the calm before an even bigger storm. My phone buzzed with a text from Richard. We need to talk now. I stared at the message, my heart racing. What had Aaron told him? And how far was Richard willing to go to keep me in line? I strode into the office, my head held high. The promotion announcement was today, and I knew I was the front runner. As I settled at my desk, my phone buzzed again, Aaron. Not now, I muttered, silencing it. My boss, Sandra, appeared at my cubicle. Lily, can I see you in my office? Heart racing, I followed her. This was it. Congratulations, Sandra beamed. The VP position is yours. I barely contained my excitement as she outlined my new responsibilities and salary, a figure that made my eyes widen. Thank you, I managed, my mind reeling. I won't let you down. As I left Sandra's office, my phone buzzed again, Aaron. With a deep breath, I answered, Lily, where are you? I've been trying to reach you all morning. I'm at work, Aaron. What's wrong? His voice cracked. I, I lost my job. Dad's furious. He says it's your fault for distracting me. I froze, the irony of the situation not lost on me. Aaron, I. Save it, he snapped. Just come home. We need to talk. The line went dead. I stood there, my promotion suddenly bittersweet. At home, I found Aaron and Richard waiting. The tension was palpable. So Richard sneered. The career woman returns. Happy now that you've emasculated my son. That's enough, Dad, Aaron said, surprising me. He turned to me, his eyes red. Lily, I, I owe you an apology. I've been so focused on being the man of the house that I didn't see how much you were contributing. And now, now you're probably making more than I ever did. I reached for his hand, but Richard intervened. Don't fall for her trick, son. She planned this all along. No, Dad, Aaron said firmly. Lily's success isn't my failure. I see that now. Richard's face contorted with rage. He lunged forward, grabbing my arm. You ungrateful little. Suddenly, Aaron was between us, pushing his father back. That's enough. Get out, Dad. Now. As Richard stormed out, slamming the door, Aaron turned to me, his eyes filled with a mix of emotions. Lily, he whispered, what have we done to each other? I stared at him, torn between hope and caution. Could we really fix this? or was it too late for us? I sat across from Aaron at our kitchen table, a stack of job applications between us. The past few weeks had been a whirlwind of emotions and changes. How about this one? I pointed to a listing. It's in your field, and the company has a great reputation. Aaron nodded, a small smile playing on his lips. Thanks, Lily. I, I really appreciate your help. I reached out, squeezing his hand. We're in this together, remember? As we worked, I marveled at how far we'd come. Aaron had been true to his word, sharing household responsibilities and respecting my career. It wasn't perfect, but it was progress. Suddenly, a knock at the door shattered our peace. Richard barged in before we could answer. Enough of this nonsense, he bellowed. 
Aaron, it's time to man up and put your wife in her place. I felt Aaron tense beside me, but before he could speak, I stood up. Richard, I said calmly, you're not welcome here. Please leave. He sneered. You don't get to tell me what to do. You up. Dad, stop, Aaron interrupted, standing beside me. Lily's right. You need to go. Richard's face reddened. You're choosing her over your own father. I'm choosing us, Aaron replied firmly. Our marriage, our life together. And if you can't respect that, then yes, I'm choosing Lily. I stared at Aaron, my heart swelling with pride and love. This was the man I'd married, the partner I'd always hoped for. Richard stormed out, slamming the door behind him. In the silence that followed, Aaron turned to me, his eyes glistening. Lily, I'm so sorry for everything. Can you ever forgive me? I cupped his face in my hands. I already have. But Aaron, this is just the beginning. We have a lot of work to do. He nodded, pulling me close. I know, but I'm ready. No more controlling, no more ego. I want us to be true partners. As we stood there holding each other, I realized this was our real happily ever after, not a fairy tale ending, but a commitment to growth, respect, and true partnership. I love you, I whispered. I love you too, Aaron replied. Thank you for not giving up on us. In that moment, I knew we'd be okay. We faced our demons, confronted our fears, and come out stronger. Together, we could face anything life threw our way.